I'm going to show you the cool new update to Google Documents called Pageless Documents. So for years, documents have always been something that we've created and generally printed so you had a hard copy of something. Well, most things that we create in documents now, we just share digitally. So we look at them in our monitors and we share them in ways that we send in an email or something like that, and we don't need them printed anymore. We don't really need hard copies for a lot of these documents. And the pain on doing a document and printing it is, here's an example of a how-to on how to do pageless documents. If I were to scroll down, everything's spaced out really nicely. But as I get down here, this image right here can't fit on the space that's still allowed on this page if I were to print it. So what happens is it gets bumped down and you have all this empty white space. So what you end up with are documents that look a little cut apart or not quite fluid. So it would be much better when this is the direction, select the page list at the top, and that's where I'm doing it. I really want that picture right next to those words, but because this is a standard document that's set up to be printed and it doesn't fit, the only option I have would be to make the image smaller, but then you lose some resolution and can't see it. Google has a fix for that. So what you do is you can make this document now no longer be broken into pages. It's just one long streaming document, pretty similar to a website, really. And since we don't really print these, that works perfectly. And it's really easy to do with a couple of clicks. All you have to do is in your document, go up to the File button, go down to Page Setup, and then right here at the top, you're going to have this is your standard, it's pages, that's what's your default, if that's what you've chosen as your default. You can also choose pageless. So when I choose pageless, it's gonna show me you have more room, it doesn't really, it's not confined to that eight and a half by 11 sheet anymore. Same as anything else, I could change the background if I wanted, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna click okay. So I selected pageless, go down to okay, and you're gonna see the change on my screen now. No longer are the margins over here, and as I scroll down, here's those directions I had before. And if you remember, this image was on another page. It wasn't tied in with those directions. So it's almost like a website. It just scrolls infinitely. So your page now, if you want to call it that, is just one continuous page for your documents. So if you're sharing documents digitally, this is the way to go. There's no longer that page break in between things. But don't worry, because let's say you share this and someone says, oh, I really do want to print that. By default, when they click the print button, it's going to break that up onto whatever size page they are going to print to, just like a website would do. And it's going to look just like it was when it was not pageless. So they can still print it. You can still do what you want. But if you're sharing things digitally, this is the way to go. It just makes one continuous page. If you decide like, you know, I really don't like all this extra white space, I don't like the look of it, or for some reason I know everybody's going to be printing it, they're going to panic, I want them to see what it's going to look like, you can go right back and undo all that. You just go to the File button again, go back down to Page Setup again, and this time instead of Page List, select Pages, click the OK button, and you're right back where you started. So if you're sharing things digitally and you don't want those page breaks, Page List is the way to go.